Well, good morning and welcome to YouTube and Deg's Adventures UK. This morning I'm going to talk about the, the Rooker gear that I've got. I've uh, sold the uh, Callis 2s, as you know, a lot of people do. Uh, I've got the uh, uh, Outlast or Overlane touring models, which is uh, the laminated suit underneath. I'll go through it with you. But I'll let you know what goes on after this. Go down and have a look. Oh God, Derek's off the road. He's on the grass. Look at this place. It's absolutely huge. Oh, some big umps here. I'll stop here. Now you see that picking that up the camera well come back right uh, first first of all uh, I have a rooker uh, off lane in the uh, this is their latest one it's the opera adventure touring version it's a very nice jacket uh, laminate it is waterproof you have your lamet, it's got all D30 armour in it, except for the back, which I've uh, replaced with D30 armour. Now a lot of people are asking what this strap is here, this Velcro strap. And uh, if I put the jacket on, and I can show you. Right, might sound a bit rude or crude or whichever way you want to take it, but uh, what it's for, it goes underneath you like that, under your crutch. There's a, a D ring on the right side. I don't know if you can pick that up. I'll put it there so you might be able to see it. And what it is, you put that in there, through there, put it down to the Velcro from there. And what it does, if you haven't guessed already, I'll just do my coat up because people just literally don't know how to work on. Right, what it is, it stops your coat lifting up with the wind as you're riding. You know, like filling up with air. So, now you know. <laughs> right, I find uh, this setup uh, very good, this jacket and the trousers. Now the trousers, I'll show you. Yeah, oh, this is the back of it. Now, this has got, Believe it or not, 11 vents on it. I'll start at the back to so make it easier. There's your first vent there, mine's open, just under the R. <coughs> Coming round to the sides, the arms. On the inside, you have a zip for your vent. And then down the side, under your arm, you've got your zip. And then, down the body, which will be the side of the jacket, you've got a zip. A vent, it's a two way zip. Pulls from the top or pulls from the bottom, depending how much air you want going through, because that one opens the bottom zip pulling up to the top really opens it up. And then you've got, I oh know, more, <laughs> you've got a vent there just above your top pocket. This is both sides now, this is, so just work out how many there is. Your pockets. Now, the pockets, as you can see, they're a stitch. But if you look at the beginnings, it's all vented. So you can use them as a pocket or a vent, but it wouldn't be advisable to have anything inside on. Same goes to this side. Same goes to this side. I don't know if I can get a zoomy on that. I'll have a look. This top stuff here. Where am I? All here. It's the mesh, which is your part of your pocket, so you get ventilation there. So there's 11 vents on that jacket alone. Now, if I do it up. Yeah, you've got your fastener all the way around as well to hold your what we call it in. I'll just put this. I call it a jock strap. 
I know it ain't a drop strap, but I call it a drop strap because it uh, goes underneath the, the man bits and holds your jacket down. Now, if I did it up. Now these are slightly waterproof, the jacket. Water repellent, should I say, not waterproof. It's not waterproof until you put the Gore-Tex inners in, which are coming to you now. There's the jacket. The Ovis, start with the O, off lane, or as they call it, the Outlast. Now in England you can buy these, I've got, I paid £800 for this from the sports bike shop. The matching trousers I get to in a moment, you can't buy them in the UK. Uh, another thing this uh, one does, in the back of the neck, we've got a neck hood thing to stop the wind. That all unfolds, that all unfolds, um, where am I, there's a split somewhere, yeah, yeah, come on, here we go, you fit your velcro, which is uh, the one that seals the top of the jacket, and light rocker all the time, if you don't want that uh, done up, you can, it's got its own Velcro system which folds back so it doesn't rub you, which is like that, which is a very good idea. It's worse than having a, a tag latching on your throat, rubbing you. Anyway, what this does, you wrap it on. In here, you've got a loop, actually on the neck thing. You feed that through. Feed that through, do it up, and then this comes around and it fits on the Velcro there. So it stops the wind, it's got its own wind jammer on. So I'll put that back there, so you know what that is. Right, the pants, <laughs> you know, off lane or over wrist, whatever you want to call them. You cannot get these cut out in the UK. The only ones to do in the UK are the black and the grey. The reason why I found out is uh, people don't want the light coloured stuff. I don't blame them because I think I made a mistake buying these actually. And they're not cheap these, ain't they? Right. I don't know if you can see all that. Oh, I can, I don't know if the camera will pick it up. It's all dirt. So I went out a few days ago with three different lads. I know one, well, two of them I know as a friend. And we went to Cotswolds and had a ride around off lane in, green lane in, off road in. My bike got stuck. <laughs> we had to get it, all of them had to pull it out of the mud. It was quite hilarious actually. But I won't be doing it again on the big BMW. It's just too heavy. Anyway, getting back to these. These are uh, just over £500. Literally just over £500. And then you've got your import taxes, as you know, because it comes from abroad. Uh, they are lovely, suits the bike great. Now, ventilation on these, absolutely amazing. You've got that there, which is a, that's a pocket. You've got the vents here at the side of the pockets on the side. That's all vented. <coughs> you come down to the front where you do them up. And these, these are absolutely brilliant, they are, the way they've done them. So the Gore-Tex, I've got the Gore-Tex working on, here's the other vent, the full vents, it's amazing. So it's up to you how you want to uh, be vented, well I know this time of the year you won't want to be vented, but that opens up a cross off. Look at the dirty mat, just look, still there. But I've got some uh, Rucka Storm Cleaner, waterproof are coming from the sports bike shop. It's quite a reasonable price actually. I won't go anywhere else now. Now I know they sell it. Um, they're uh, supposed to be an excellent cleaner. You just put it in the washing machine, in the drawer and read the instructions and let it do its work. I know I've got to cut all these tags off telling you what to do. <laughs> but uh, as I say, these are absolutely brilliant trousers. They have uh, a leather patch there on the, on the bum spine. You know the bit of the pressure mark, that's thick bone. On the back, they've got the, uh, sorry, on the inside of the legs, both of them. You can see that black here, that's leather. Good idea, actually. 
And then as I say, you've got all your uh, other bits there with your D30 armor. Now this, uh, this is the uh, Gore-Tex side of it. You have to put it in. Now the beauty of this, I would carry it, I don't actually put it on, not unless it is raining before I go out. But the beauty of this, you can do it or wear it, you can wear it as a normal jacket, but I don't think I would, because it's a bit of uh, science fiction in colour grey. You've even got a thing there, you see, tuck it on. Um, but this suit is not absolutely waterproof until you've got this on. I know uh, I went backwards, not forwards, because the Calyx 2 is a laminate which is like, you just put that on and that's it, it's waterproof. Wear this, you have to wear this, and the pants. But this has got some special um, technology in this jacket. When you when you were hot, or you're getting hot, it takes the heat away from you, some mad material, some mad inner stuff it is. And um, when you start going cold, it knows, and it puts the heat back out, out of the jacket, back into you. It's a crazy way it works, but it does work, and I'm telling you now, because I've got all the Kai's keys, or Kai's how you want to say it, all their uh, heated garments are peeled. And uh, I've never used it, honest to God. I bought it, and I've never used it. Not even the gloves. But now the winter's coming, I will be riding through the winter. But this... I don't think I'll, I'll need the uh, keys. I'll, I'll try it, you know what I mean? I've got the boot warmers and everything, so the gloves, the jacket, everything on that side. But uh, I just thought I'd update you with the uh, jacket and the uh, that strap. What people, what people don't understand what it's for. That strap there. And then you see it, that strap, the one that goes underneath your man bits and holds your jacket down. I hope this is out for a few of you out there. Anyway, thank you for watching.